Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. You know, it's been a while since I played Star Citizen, and um, it's been like five years. I think I was the kind of a early backer back then. I backed him up. I, I paid some money. It was uh, in 2014. Now, coming back after five years, I have to admit they have implemented a lot of cool features. And if you never played uh, Star Citizen, and uh, if you don't know who the individual is that worked on this game, uh, it's the creator, Robert. I think it's Chris Roberts, something like that. Uh, he uh, created uh, Wing Commander 1, Wing Commander 2, 3, and 4. And uh, Star Citizen is simply amazing, dude. Star Citizen it's something that it's trying to be a MMO like a massive multiplayer online simulator experience in space and I think they're gonna accomplish that in the future you can visit the planets and it's really realistic man everything about this game it's super realistic I'm using a very high-end graphics here I'm using a uh, 2080, 2080 graphics cards, and, and you can see I'm, I'm rocking 113 frames per second on 32 by 9, uh, 50 inch monitor. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's land. Let's uh, enter the uh, this planet. Looks like a Mars. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna land here. Let's switch to our regular um, our regular view which is the uh, cockpit view just kind of show you how it looks let's see what we have here um, let's check and see let's use our spool quantum drive to see what we got here on this planet um, Oh, look, there's a base over there. Perfect. That's where I'm going to go, right there. Here we go. Oh, this is being obstructed. Wait, what about here? I got something over here. I want to see what this is. We're going to do it over here. There we go. Perfect. Wow. That is simply amazing, dude. Look at that. Simply amazing, man. The fact that you can travel and freely explore these planets, it's such a cool thing, man. Let me switch to a... Uh different view right here this looks amazing on a 50 inch monitor this is the reason why you want to get a 50 inch monitor it's because of games like this and uh, there is a base over here somewhere we're gonna find it uh, like I said um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, 
what they have done with Star Citizen, uh, with a Star Citizen game. Uh, a lot has changed since um, 2014, and uh, you know this is not for everyone. Listen, um, these types of simulation games are not for everyone. You know, some people are gonna like it. Some are not gonna like it. You know, it, it really depends on what you what you are looking for. But if you're somebody who likes, you know, space simulations, uh, this is it, man. And I'm running this game, everything maxed out. I need to find the space. Hold on. here somewhere it looks like a Mars right it, it really is like a Mars it does look like a Mars oh this is so cool dude I love it it's like Prometheus man. if you really want to play uh, Prometheus role-playing like if you feel like you want to be in a Prometheus movie or something uh, this is it bro and it's so cool man. You're gonna have to need a, a beefy PC. This is where the RTX 2080 comes in handy. And now I realize why I have RTX 2080. People ask me, why do you have RTX 2080? Why do you have that powerful graphics card? I'm like, well, for the games like this. For the games like this. That's right. That's why, my friend. For the games like this. And um, here, let me give you a better look here. Yeah, man, that, that's simply amazing. Love it. So, yeah. Because you're going to need something very uh, powerful to run this game. And I think 2070, uh, 2070 or 2080 should get the job done. If you have 2070, uh, you're fine. 2060, I mean, you can, but at medium settings. Guys, I'm rocking everything set to uh, maximum. What's going on? No, no, I don't want to do that. What's going on? Dude, dude, I self-destructed myself by accident. Guys, laugh it up. Dude, I self-destructed myself by accident. I didn't even realize that I did that. <sighs> so as you can see, you wake up in a station, space station, and um, maybe it was just a bad dream. You exit click open and uh, you know th there's people here you can see the the multiplayer chat room here people are talking and stuff it's a pretty cool experience um, you can buy stuff here if you want um, now let's go down to uh, retrievement uh, retrievement station where we can retrieve our uh, vehicle and we can continue. There it is right here. So you can come here and you can retrieve uh, your vehicle. We're going to do that right now. Uh, this is mine right here. Uh, Mustang Alpha. Now, you do have to claim it. You know, you can't just simply come back and, and pick it up whenever you want. You have to claim it. Uh, you have to click claim right here. You have to claim it. Hit the claim. And the claim was going to cost you. You're going to have to pay some credits for it. I accidentally hit the wrong button and I uh, self-destructed. <laughs> and you have to wait five minutes for it.
Here we go. We got five minutes to go. And you got to pay the fee as well. To wait. Now you can wait till they uh, deliver it. And once they deliver it, you can go back into your ship. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually. So, a lot has changed on uh, Star Citizen. Now, some people are saying that Star Citizen, it's a bit expensive. Well, of course, you know, it is expensive. Star Citizen is not for everyone. Uh, just ship alone, the vehicle that I bought cost, cost me $45. So, um, this is a very expensive game. You know, it's not for everyone, but, um, I mean, I still get to enjoy what I have paid. I think total I have paid $80, $80 since 2014, and, um, I mean, it's a cool experience. Remember, you're paying for the experience. Uh, that's, that's really what it is, man. You're paying for the experience. And um, you see, I'm still waiting. I got three minutes left till my ship comes back. Now I can walk around. I don't have to wait. You know, I can just. There's other people over here, as you can see. They're waiting for their ship and they're chatting. You know, you can chat with them. You know, I can say hi. Let's say hello. Hold on. Hello, this will be, this will be on YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> so I can just kind of like, you know, whatever, chat with people. Alright, so, two more minutes left, until I get my ship back. you can only use your vehicle you can't use someone else's vehicle uh, if you want to purchase another vehicle you will have to purchase another vehicle they do have discounts once in a while you know I mean I don't know um, this is a special interest and this is really intended for special interest you know gamers gamers who like this kind of a experience just like you have people who love iRacing people who love American Truck Simulator. There's people who like this as well. So we've got two more minutes to go. I just want you to know that I didn't self-destruct on purpose. I just hit the button by mistake. I swear to God. I'm eating. So sue me. <laughs> Might as well eat. No, while I'm waiting for it. Alright, let's see what we got. We got one minute left and 22 seconds. And then they're gonna let me know which deck they're gonna put the uh, the vehicle on. It's kind of like a witch terminal deck, whatever. So in about one minute, good to go. And I think this is where this monitor comes in handy. And I'm going to show you guys via my camera just how beautiful this looks. Man, it's pouring rain over here. You see, he's waiting for his ship too. They're all waiting. Alright, here we go. Good to go. Let me expedite it. Let's hit. Go 
let me retrieve it. Now he's going to let me know where to retrieve it. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. You see, I have to go to AO7. <clears throat> so AO7 should be here somewhere. Um, let me see. AO7 should be here. Uh, right there. Is it? Wait. No, 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 hold on. Right here. Five, seven. Here. It's going to be here. Now you have to go through... Um, you should say right here. There. A07, right there. Strut A. Now we have to go and uh, depressurize. It's pretty realistic, though, I have to say. And yes, I'm running my graphics on very high, maximum. Everything's set to maximum here. Well, that's why you have 2080. You know, this is where you say to yourself, Ah, now I know why I have 2080. I have this 50-inch widescreen monitor. Everything's set to ultra. I mean, everything's, everything's set to maximum. That's why you have it. All right, let's go. Let's go pick up our ship. As you can see, the arrow it's right there, Mustang Alpha. So it's going to be over here. A08, Strut 8. A08, it's going to be right here. There it is. Look at my beautiful ship right here, man. Actually, you can open the cargo if you want to. Like, um, for example, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is very realistic and plausible. I mean, honestly, what they're creating here, it's something that's very plausible and realistic. But it's not for everyone. I understand that, you know. This game... This game is going to appeal only to a certain special interest that like this kind of stuff. Everything from a design perspective, everything, it's very, very cool, awesome looking, man. Uh, now, you know, this is where I say to myself, hey, this is the reason why I have RTX 2080 and 2070. It's, it's because of the games like this. This is where that power comes in, all that horsepower. And then you say, ah, that's why I have it. Now, if you have 2080 Ti, then you're pretty much good to go, dude. You can put two of these monitors with 2080 Ti forward to Win 3, uh, 11 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. It's like ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead. Let's uh, enter the pilot seat. You can see the letters coming down. And uh, there I am. Good to go. Close the canopy. Look around, check everything, make sure everything's all right. Okay. So. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, flight ready. Look, this dude, he wants to get in, bro. I said, dude, you can't get in. It's just it's just for me, bro. It's my ship. All right, so um, let's take off and um, let's do this. But let's not self-destruct, shall we? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look around to see where we're gonna go next you have to click a spool quantum drive and here 
you're going to be looking for a new uh, new new planets so let's see what we have available here all right let's go here let's go now this one is it's, it's out of reach we need to find another one depends on your ship you can go to every star system depending on your ship um, let's go somewhere closer Let's do this again. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's, that one's obstructed. Let's see this one. Quantum travel disabled. No, they're all too far. We gotta keep looking. Oh, what do we got here? We got something over here. Closer. Alright, here we go. Quantum travel disabled. No, they're all obstructed. Let's try this one. Quantum travel disabled. Wow, cannot go there. Oh, well, let's keep trying. this Let, let's try and land here the hell with it crusader all right let's go here let's go here quantum travel engaged landing gear retracted here we go Let's uh, engage spool quantum drive again. What is this? Here we go. Quantum travel engaged. Good to go. Oh shit. Contact. Oh no. Contact. Oh, this is a bad idea, dude. I shouldn't have got here. I shouldn't have gotten here. Oh my god. See, you gotta be careful where you go. Let me, uh, get out of here. Hold on. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. What is this? Wait a minute. Here we go. We got something. Ah, uh, it's too far. Ah, uh, too far. Saturn? 
that I'm seeing over here. It looks like a Saturn dude. Here we go. Screwed. <laughs> I'm totally screwed here, man. Let's see what else we got here. Um, let's try again. Let's pull quantum drive. Let's see what we got. Come on, come on, baby. Got anything? Is there anything here? Oh, wait a minute. There's something here. Here we go. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Come on, baby. Here we go. Perfect. At least I can... At least I avoided that fight. Let's see where we are. It's a pretty cool game to explore. There's also a multiplayer here. There's multiplayer, there's like single player, there's a bunch of different things uh, on this game, you know. But yes, it is expensive, you know, it's not cheap by any means, you know. But it's a pretty cool experience, you know. Yes, it also supports VR, if you want to use VR, you can use VR as well, you know. But you're going to need a beefy PC for this, for sure. Here we go. Ooh, what kind of planet is this? Oh, it's some kind of a moon. Well, uh, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out this moon. That's some interesting moon over here. Uh, let me see. Let me, uh... Turn the spool. Ah, there we go. That's it, right there. Let's go. No, that one cannot be reached. Let's go to this one. Quantum drive. Let's go to this one. Let's go. Travel engaged. Ah, it's just a moon. I'm not interested in moon. <laughs> I'm interested in Mars. Since we are here, let's explore this moon. Since we are here, let's do it. Let's see what we got. Come on, come on, something, anything.
obstructed. Oh, come on. Out of range. Let's go somewhere else then. We'll go over here. Let's go. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. This like a Kyber belt or something. Dude. system. Let's go over here. Right here. There we go. Ready, steady, go. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, I want to bring you something new, something different. <coughs> so, this is a long distance, man. Oh yeah. I mean, it's 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 interesting game. You know, like I said, if you're into like a flight simul, I mean, uh, space simulations, this is it, bro. I think you're gonna be right at home. This will take a long time, dude. Jesus. But let's see where we're gonna where we're gonna end up before I end the video. I just want to see uh, where I'm gonna end up here. Oh my god, this will be a long ass trip for sure. And that's me right there, my character. Graphics are really good. Uh, that's something that really impressed me. Was the graphics? Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to kind of show you uh, my other special interests and what I do. 
besides those other games out there. This really shows you that I'm all about variety, man. I'm, I'm all about variety of different things. and uh, This is not for everyone, obviously, but uh, I think uh, if you have that urge for space adventure simulations, uh, I think you're going to feel right at home here. Plus, it's multiplayer. You know, it's a uh, it's connected online. You can talk, to chat with other people. <clears throat> you know. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching.